is uh, Pratap here again. So in this very series, we will be discussing something uh, about practicals. So practical, I mean, uh, whatever the topic we have discussed about the hardware. So let's say if you think about the computer hardware, how, how it is. So in your hardware into hardware are divided into the three different parts, right? Input process and output. So if we are talking about that computer hardware, so they are divided into so computer hardware. Let's say this is your computer hardware. So it will be divided into three major sections. So this is your hardware. We have some input device. We have some output device. And you have some processing device. So input device basically through which you can give the input into the computer. Let's say your keyboard. Then you will have mouse and so many other peripherals. So processing device, let's say your RAM and your processor. Now output device, let's say your printer, your projector, and then monitor. Printer, projector, and monitor. So these are the output devices. So, so this is also called IPO cycle. I means input, P for process, and O for out. So this is how your computer works. So, uh, be, once you have got that computer, so you have to find out like what operating system you have installed, how much GB of RAM you are utilizing, how much GB of uh, you know storage you have now. So these all, if you want to see, so uh, you know the, I will be sharing with some of the shortcuts. So that will be showing you up like how to perform it. Okay, so we'll have that. We'll go there and check. If you see, this is that uh, virtual machine you are ready. So if you see uh, what all software are installed in your computer, if you want to see that, so you will be going run and type there appwiz.cpl. So that is going to show you up. See, these are the software are installed in your machines. Now, once you'll talk about, uh, you have to see the network card details. So you will be going run here. This is the run and type there in cpa.cpl. Now, once you'll be going to ethernet and then click on status. So you can see this is the IP that you have. And this is like this machine right now, not connected to anybody. I mean, it's working as a standalone machine. So you see, uh, this is the information you can find out from here. And this is your physical address, I mean uh, MAC address, just like your mobile phone IMI number. So same like this, this is your physical address. So if you want to go to the network, you want to see the network details, so you can go with the ncpa.cpl. Now, if you want to see how much uh, GB of RAM, how much uh, processor is getting utilized, so you can go here, task manager. Now you can see here from the task manager, you can see the 4% of processor and 24% of memory are utilizing. So you see, this is, now if you want to see who is the user, now administrator is the user. Now you want to see details, so these are the services are running here. I mean details of the service. Suppose guys, uh, one of the service, let's say one of the service you take, suppose these are the service, one of the service you want to enhance, I mean you want to give more priority. So you right click on this. 
So let's say explorer.exe. You have to increase the priority on that. Right click, set priority, and if you make it high, so this particular services, this particular service will be, I mean, application will be working faster. If you open something else, let's say you open that Mozilla. See, Mozilla is showing up here. So I want that Mozilla will be getting that high priority. When comparing other application, this one should open fast or it work uh, smooth. So you just right click on that, set priority and then high. So this is the way you can set that priority. Now, suppose you want to find out like computer information. Computer information means uh, what all software are installed, what all, uh, I mean, that you have seen already. Like you want to see uh, which kind of operating system it is. So you will be going like OS details. If you like to see that, we'll be going here and type their run and type their ms info 32. It, this command is very important. So it will be showing your OS de de uh, details, your RAM and uh, how much bit of your operating system like, you know, is 32 or 64 that is also going to show you. Let me show you up. MS info 32. So once you'll go here, MS info 32, guys, you see here, this is your operating system and this is the processor that I'm using here. So, guys, uh, when we are discussing about the processor, let me tell you something else here. Now, if you see the processor that we are using, that is i5. Once it's starting with six, that means it's a sixth generation. If it is start with the seventh, then seventh generation. If it is start with the eight, then eighth generation. And uh, uh, right now I'm using one core for this virtual machine. Now, if we go down, so BIOS version is using this. And uh, you see system type is 64 bit. If you come here, this is a 64-bit system. Now, if you go down, you can see 4 GB of RAM you are using for it. Okay. Now, uh, some more information. Let's say what all service you are running and all those information. If you like to like to see, then you will be going to uh, run and type there MS config. So if you see that MS config here, so these are the services that is running. If you don't want to, they don't want like this all services will be running. So what all service you don't want, you can uncheck it. Like, you know, I don't want uh, suppose some of the services. Like event log, I, this service I don't want. I just apply it. It will be asking for restart. So after that, it will take effect. So like that, you know, you can check it out like what all services you want and what all service you don't want. Now startup, like when you are turning off your machine, what all application will be on automatically. So that also you can select. Over here, no such application, so it's not showing up. So these are the tools to change up like even viewer. So this is the path. Let's say programs. See, I was giving that shortcut. Can you see there? APPWIZ CPL. Now internet option like internet CPL. All that command prompt, whatever you want. Let's say, uh, you know, this is very important. Okay. You make a note. See, if we want to open anything, anything, let's say registry editor, registry on to go. So you can go here, REGEDIT, it will open. You want to open the command prompt, see, CMD. You want to open the task manager, ESKMGR. You want to check that uh, resource monitor, like, you know, you want to check it. So, see, you will be typing here.
Resmon. So it will show you the resource monitor. See, so such an important one. Not only that, anything else like program monitor you have to see, perform this. You have to see internet protocol related IP config. You have to internet option, this. So all that, you know, you can, you can be a pro user. Like, you know, somebody called, right, pro user. So you will be pro user. See, all those are, uh, you know, stored here. You don't need to go somewhere else. To find out, let's say you want to go to certain tabs. So, you know, you no need to find out how you will be going. So, about Windows, if you want to see, like WinBar, like Windows information you want to find out, you go here and type here WinBar. See, Windows information is showing up here. So, this is the tab, like how we went. First, we went through MS Config. After that MS config, we went tools. From there, you can check it out how to go to shortcut and where they are stored. Stored means in you know, a C drive, Windows is that one folder inside that system 32. So after that, there is a command. Okay, guys. So, uh, so far, what all we have learned from here? I want to make the video very big and don't want to make it monotonous. I will be keeping something which is very important and which will help you out so guys so what all we have learned from here so we have learned about that operating system details and then we have find out that uh, you know how to go to that firewall like if you want to go to the firewall firewall.cpl so you will be able to go to the firewall so guys, uh, it will be very important if you are using uh, your personal computer at home and you make sure that firewall should be on. So this is that firewall.cpl. You just, you can check it from that. It's very important. And then MS config. So this is the another one which will be helping you out to find out like your service details and all. So this particular uh, video, it's not about that uh, uh, commercial syllabus. It's all about how you will be using your system quite advanced way. And that particular series, commercial series, we will be keep adding that videos. Also, I will be uploading uh, those to this side. Network red dot net. And you will be having all that information there and uh, we, we will be keep you posted like whenever any information is coming up and first we will be first right now we are starting with comsia a plus and then we'll be come up with that n plus n plus we will be starting and then we'll be starting with windows server Then we'll be come up with uh, Linux. Then we'll be come up with, after Linux, we'll be come up with that Cisco. And some other firewall. This will be, this will be the way we'll be continuing forward. So please, uh, you just have a look. And if you're having any questions, so you can put in that YouTube comment section so you know every saturday or sunday i will be replying you back thank you guys